God station Invitation to burn my sins away I get high New desire to learn to love in a different way New nation Always a different bag for a different day Spent hours my name's Willie, Willie Edwards. Um, we make, I play with the band Willie and the Bandits. We make sort of quite an eclectic mix of music. It's sort of based in what we call ourselves um, Acid World Rock, which is basically we mix sort of psychedelia, blues, rock, um, a bit of world music all together to make sort of quite an interesting uh, blend of styles. Revelation to force my devil to Um, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a blues artist. I mean, I don't really like labels with music anyway. I think it's, it's every, every music to sort of be taken for what it is rather than trying to put a stamp on it and say what it is. But I definitely have a lot of influence in the blues. I mean, I play slide guitar. My voice is quite gravelly, and I love a lot of blues artists. You know, I'm very inspired by them. Um, you know, some of like the greats, like Blind Willie Johnson, and, um, Eric Clapton, Peter Green. You know, and then obviously stuff like Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd. You know, it's a big, there's a big influence, and I think all sort of music comes from the blues, anyway. So we're always everyone sort of harking back to it for sure. We were in Cornwall um, on holiday. We used to go to a holiday in Cornwall now where I live, and um, we're always into our surfing and stuff, like, as a family and stuff. And we used to go along. I remember my dad putting Jimi Hendrix on in the car, and, and that being like a moment where I was like, "Wow, this is this is awesome." And I kept getting him to play it. And then after that, he sort of had that, I wanted to get a guitar. And then we, I got a guitar and then I got really into Dire Straits. <laughs> it's like, but it was really like uh, Jimi Hendrix was the first sort of thing I think I ever heard that made me want to sort of play guitar I think, and play music. Back's beginning to wake. Knees are starting to shake. Teeth staring right back at you. Love my one my fire's all. Head starting to gray. Skin beginning to fade. We don't need conversation. Love my one my fire's all. I mean, that's something that we're sort of quite, you know, renowned for doing. Um, all, all our music has a lot of um, social commentary and, and sort of political references in it. It's something that I feel quite strongly about and the way I express myself is generally through, through my music. So I channel a lot of those emotions, like we were chatting earlier about Brexit and stuff, um, through my music. And, you know, obviously I'm annoyed about it, so it comes out in a... In, in my music and I mean when you travel as a musician as a touring musician you see the world in a very sort of different way anyway and I think a very pure way because you're not sort of stuck in the same place you're, you're moving through and not being trapped in these small little clicks so you know I think um, you see the world in a different way and it gives you if you let that in it gives you a good way of letting it out and, and releasing how you feel you know and how you're inspired we shared our memories we shared our vow I love you till my dying day Just love me while my fire's out Temptation of our swift soul One loves to post It never gets old Tell me that I'm counting days And this way we're gonna win I don't blame you Love me while my fire's out Said love me while my fire's out 
Loma on my fire sound There's one of them other gone It's my shout I mean, blues has evolved for a long time, you know, if you go back from sort of Robert Johnson, no one's playing really what Robert Johnson done now. So, I mean, you say, in a way you could say the blues isn't alive from the origins, but it is because it's been evolved. I mean, the Rolling Stones took it somewhere different, Led Zeppelin. A lot of what people think is the blues, they're actually listening to an electric blues which is not really the essence of blues, it's changed. So I think people need to be open-minded when they listen to music and listen to how blues comes out in different records and in modern ways. It doesn't necessarily have to sound exactly how it sounded when you listen to it, for it to be the blues, you know. The blues is an expression, a soulful sort of um, release from, from an artist, you know, and, and I think that um, it's everywhere. And, I think as long as people are open-minded and embrace the new bands and don't want it to sound like it sounds before, but a little bit different, <laughs> then we've got a great future with the music. You know, Gary Clark Jr. is doing amazing stuff at the moment, and you know, and and many many other artists coming through. Stay with those We celebrate conformity and not our humanity. All the power of our mind. Will we love me while the waves start to fall? The album Paths comes out on the February the 1st. Um, it's an album we've been, you know, it's the album we've wanted to make as a band for a long time, you know. it's. Um, we have finally had no, no no sort of our direction was our direction. It was everything we'd done on the records, what we wanted to do, and we believed in what we'd done. You know, we'd had no label, no management like we've had previously. So we stripped it back to make the record we want to make, and we use a lot of vintage amps and vintage equipment, and sort of mix them more some sort of more modern elements of recording with more vintage stuff as well to create this really amazing sound and. It's very much what we do live. It's very much sort of got this sort of essence and energy of what we do live and captured it on the record. And the performances are, you know, a top, top notch. And the songs are probably the best songs we've ever written. So we're really, really happy with it. My, 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 won't let you go. Won't let you go. you down my mom